Hey y'all, I'm with Natalie today and we're back in our favorite creek. And especially this spring season, this creek has been insanely good to us. We found some incredible stuff here. You've seen the videos. If you haven't, be sure to go back and watch them after this video. But there's a ton of rain again, which happens in the spring, luckily for us. So we're here and everything looks really, really rearranged. And hopefully that means there's gonna be some crazy treasure. So let's get to walk and see what we can find. Oh yes, this feels good to be back here in this wondrous place full of marbles, antique bottles, and the occasional Native American spearhead. And oh my gosh, there's gonna be some marbles right here. Yes, I feel it in my bones. Yes, All right, we're gonna be, this is so different here. Mm -hmm. Wow, this changed a lot. That's a good sign, everybody. That's always a good sign right there. Part of a Hutchinson bottle. Look at that top. Let's find a whole one today. Someone explain to me how we've been here for five minutes already and we haven't found a marble. Someone explain it. It doesn't make sense in this place. We should have 10 by now. <laughs> he did it. I did it, baby. Right when we were leaving the gravel bar, there is in fact a marble. I take back what I said about we are terrible treasure hunters. We're the best. There it is right there. Oh. Cool, it's, it's a pretty one too. It's like black with a little blue streak. Yeah, I love that one. Sweet. All right, I'm happy now. Natalie spotted a marble. Ooh, that one's cool. I see a baby doll. Boop. Oh, you see a baby doll? Oh my God. Yes. Let us examine the baby doll. Oh God, ow. There's gonna, snake's gonna fall on me. Help me. Oh yes, this is glorious. Oh. <laughs> Uh, look at him. Good find, babe. Look, it's like, it's weird. Oh. It's like the clothes are built into it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Yep. These really deep sections always bother me. That's probably like almost chest deep right there. And I know there's got to be great stuff down there, but I can't go get it. It actually looks really sandy. There might not be gray stuff down there, but there definitely could be good bottles hiding in places like that. But this is an uh, unsuitable place to stick your head in the water, unfortunately. All right. Moving on now to the next gravel bar area. We each found a marble, which means we have now marbleized our minds and our eyes and we have our marble eyes turned turn on and that was a lot of weird turn of phrase but i think y'all understood what i was trying to say <laughs> marble eyes oh that fish was fast wow oh look at him i don't know if you can see him through the gopro but they're quick quick little guys okay there's more gravel bars up this way i have a feeling we'll find some more oh that's pretty Ugh, too bad that wasn't whole floral design and a nice blue glaze. Wow, that's gorgeous. Marble? Natalie has a marble. Oh, wow. It's it is a bit beat up though, ain't he? It's a shame. Oh, it's, it's still purple. cool. Wow. But that's actually beautiful, even though it's all beat up. Yeah. That is a cool marble here. That's great. I knew it. I sensed there were marbles near. That's some pretty pottery right there. Ugh. That's pretty. I bet you there's another marble lying around right here somewhere. Look at all that gravel. Perhaps an interesting lid to something right there. Weird. Gas can lid or something. Looks old and brassy. Kind of, kind of strange, kind of neat. This, I think, is a jar, but it looks like a pretty color. Let's see. Oh. Oh, is that a melons or whatever? It's like a baby food jar. I think it might be, but there's no embossing on it. But that's actually a fairly old jar right there. Nice aqua color. Too bad it's all beat up up there. So Natalie found this marble and she extracted it with the pincher. Oh my gosh, yes. That's a great one, babe. Yeah. That little thing is actually super nice. Natalie has a little bit of poison ivy on her arm, so she was like, I'm not sticking my hand in that water today. And I'm like, I get it. So we grab this thing, and apparently it can pick up marbles. And not it can <laughs> kind of pick up bottles. 
Which was the point? Oh no! Oh, it's just. Oh no! Oh, oh no. goodness gracious! This is scary. Natalie picks up yet another marble with the grabber. <laughs> Dang, that thing's good at marbles. It is good at marbles. That's awesome. This one's also incredibly beautiful. Yeah, I like that one. And now Natalie is kicking my butt with marbles today. <laughs> I've only got one so far, I think. Look how beautiful that pottery is. Oh my gosh, it's like neon. Yeah. You don't see that color very much. That's okay. cool. I want a whole pot made of it. Me too. Look at this bowl that Natalie just picked out. That's pretty. That is pretty. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's keep that. That's helpful. Can you, can you, um... Oh, there it okay, goes. There it made goes. it. See, Natalie's I'm got learning. the... <laughs> see, Natalie's got the waders. I need some waders. I'm like right at the cusp of flooding my boots right as we speak. Mm -hmm. Trying to be incredibly careful. And if I sink at all in the sand, I'm going down. Yep. I'm going down. If I sink even just a wee bit... I had to come up. Got too deep for me. Might be able to make my way down right here. Yes, I can do this. <laughs> I'm in the snake in the tick land. No. It's crazy, actually. I can see how high the water got recently because all this is kind of swept clean up here. That is different than usual. That's interesting. This place where we are right now is religious. <laughs> this is a spiritual place for me because right around here in one of these little potholes where I found that point, that last point that I found here, was right here on this clay bank. Is there another one? I don't know, but I found a marble. <laughs> they found a marble. Let's see what she got. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I see it. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We got to get a close up of that on the phone because that's crazy right there. That one's a pretty cat eye. Why is that one of the prettiest marbles I've ever seen in my life? Dude, look at that, y'all. That thing is incredible. Oh my gosh. It's like a little planet. Oh, that is beautiful. Great find, babe. A strange bottle there. Bloop. Oh no, oh, yeah. that's disturbing. Probably was a sour's extracts or something along those lines. Too bad it got busted. Yeah. That's a shame there. It's all busted up, a Chero Cola. Mm -hmm. It's all beat up real bad. Look at the bottom there. Look at that, it's from South Carolina. Seneca. Seneca, South Carolina, interesting. What you doing way down in Georgia, bottle? This is cool right here. This is a huge chunk of material. It looks to be the same type of material the points I found out of here are made of. Somebody was probably busting on this rock quite a few thousand years ago and making points. Oh my goodness, I didn't know it was so pretty on the top. Look at him. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful stopper. I love it. Dang. That's different than the typical we find here. Yeah. Oh, it's a little busted. I don't care. It's okay. It's still pretty. It's nice. Natalie was just scratching around with a trowel and some gravel, and she pulled out this little stopper. It would have had a wire going through there, and it would have clamped onto a bottle. I'm pretty sure this style would have gone on one that's similar to um, the bottle that I found recently, the, the one from New Jersey that I'm going to throw up on the screen now. I think this type goes on that kind of style bottle. That's pretty sweet. Two stoppers. Two stoppers, real that. quick. Easy to see how some points might come out of these banks, yeah? You gotta think Native Americans were living and hunting along this creek for a long time. And so every once in a while, one of their lost tools winds up down here. Natalie marbles 500 Kyle won. <laughs> There's that one. And she spotted this one as she was handing me the other one. Uh, oh, wow. Those are both really pretty. Are they the same? Look, they're Very similar. Super similar, but look at the deep green on that one. Yeah, that one's pretty. That is great. Here's your marble to add to your marble collection. Thank Why you. cannot I find a marble today? <laughs> right here, it gets even too deep for the waders, so 
We are now making our way through the woods. Ah, spider web. I don't want to break him. He worked hard to make that web. How's it going over yonder, baby? Okay. Okay. That's the really, really deep hole right over there. So we gotta keep going. This section haunts my dreams. It is so deep. It's just impossible to look because of how deep it is. I need a drought or something. Like a major drought, but it's way too deep. We're almost there, babe. We're so close. All right, if I remember right, we cruise around this here bend and we're back to some shallows. Ow. Yep, I see a shallow spot. But what's down there? How many hutches? Here we are. We made it, babe. Whoop. Success. What's that little thing right there? Is that a little button? Yeah, I think it is. A little, oh, it's not focused on it. A little, maybe? Kind of a strange button, if it is a button. I'm not entirely sure about that, actually. Probably a button. Baby got a button. Hey, that one's cool. Button. That's a great little button. Yeah. Boop. I like that one. Kind of lots of little stuff. There's a lot of little stuff right here. What is that? Oh my gosh. That little leaf looked like a marble I for a second. It was too. That's funny. I need a marble. It's that blue thing. Wow. Is that part of a grinding disc? <laughs> Pretty sure that's what that is. I finally have found my second marble of the day. Ooh, it's pretty. It's white and blue. Yes. It is about time, eh? Royal crystal. What the heck? Royal crystal. That, that is like a weird screw top stopper thingy. That's mm -hmm. cool. What's this kind of weird looking bottle that Natalie Dr. found? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Oh, five point. Oh, five points. That's a cool bottle. Look at the star on there. It's just sitting right there. I think I've found, oh, look, it's got a five on it. I think I found one of these one time a year or two ago. Dr. Pepper Bottling Company from Moultrie, Georgia. That's a cool bottle. We were so busy looking for marbles, we didn't hey, even right? notice Right? That's the a bottle. great one. Yeah. I actually kind of like, see how it's like kind of got the sand war. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of like that look. It looks kind of neat. Yeah. That's a cool bottle, babe. Natalie found a little bead. I like that little bead. Me too. It's pretty. Let's get some blue beads. I feel like I just thought of something else. What was that? Oh, nope. Not a bead. Not the bead. <laughs> Natalie was like, I got a piece of a marble and then, oh, a marble. An actual full marble. Where is it at? See if I see it. Oh gosh. You see him? Uh, I see it. I see it. See I see it. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? There it is. <laughs> Ding. Well, that was cool. Hello. Interesting color on that one. Yeah. He was hiding under a rock. Yeah, he looked like a rock. Cool. He does look like all of the quartz pebbles. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, I just wanted to interrupt the video for just a second and let y'all know um, if you're in Florida or if you're in the Gainesville, Florida area, I'll be playing a show at Heartwood Soundstage, which is a great music venue in Gainesville, Florida on Saturday, I believe it's a Saturday, April the 27th. And I'm gonna be performing my original music and it's gonna be a great time. And I'll be opening for my buddy Leon Meitzen, who's on his tour. It's called the Blue Sky Tour and he's a fantastic songwriter and a good friend. So it's gonna be a really fun time. And I just wanted to let y'all know, I share music on here from time to time. If anyone, if any subscribers are in this general area, come hang out, come, come see some music and I'd love to meet you. So anyways, let's get back to the video. This bottle here looks potentially like an aqua color. Let's find out. Oh no, just a Pepsi from the 60s. See a square shaped bottle down here. Let's see. Oh, it's a little busted at the top and 
There's nothing embossed on it, but it is the right age that we're looking for. Somewhere around the turn of the century to about 1920-ish. I can never resist sharing the beautiful flowing water right here when I come to this creek. I love that sound. And I spotted this little guy. Look at that little cork top. Boop! It's a cute little bottle. There's nothing embossed on it, but I'm going to guess it's probably a shoe polish or something along those lines. Yeah, pretty cool old one right there. I can't take it anymore. We're going to pick up some trash while we're out today. We got to. There's just so much. You can't even put a dent in it, to be honest with y'all, but you got to do a little bit. I, I, do, I do actually think a little bit at a time will go a long way in the long run, so... Y'all gotta help though too. If you're out looking and you see some trash, pick up, you know, whatever you can. You don't have to pick up a ton. Obviously we're hiking into these places. Sometimes it's a far hike. You can't always carry everything out. I mean, you couldn't physically or possibly carry everything out because there's so much trash, unfortunately. Um, but we do a little bit at a time. We do our part. Look at this, babe. Something I've never heard of. Something M. Reese Druggist. Hmm. I bet that would have been a pretty awesome bottle there. Typically when it'll say druggist, it would have been a local a local uh, pharmacy. So there's no telling where this could have came from. It could have been a town around here or maybe from far away that someone brought here. But I have no idea what that would have been to. M. Reese, And I, I don't know what was before that. So maybe I can try to learn a little bit about it from just that. Is that a pink cream jar? It's Pons, but it's pink. It's like a pink color. That's kind of cool. Normally they're just a white. Natalie will like that. That's great. Babe, I found you something. It's a pink oh, jar instead one. of white. It says Pons on the bottom. Oh, nice. Is that one cool? That one. Here you go. And a pretty piece of pottery. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. That is a gorgeous piece of pottery right there. Wow. Look at the edge on that. Such intricate design. That's beautiful. I think I'll keep that. We got a little Hoyts. Oh, it's embossed too. Nickel. It says nickel, you're right. Yeah. Hoyts so nickel like cologne. Oh yeah, you found that's one. Complete, this one's complete. It's got a little ding out right there, but not too bad. That's okay. That's old too. It's blown in a mold. That's I cool. That one. That's great, baby. You can have it, baby. Yay. She can have job. it. Thank you. <laughs> she loves perfume bottles. <laughs> <laughs> that one's so cool. I love it. Oh look at the is that a bubble? Uh, or is that a so nick? right that's actually a little nick taken out of it, sadly, right there, but Cute. shoot, it's still a great looking bottle. Ooh, ah, skeeters. Mosquitoes They're bad today, y'all. See a bottle right here that looks embossed and I think the top is sheared off so I'm already a little sad about it but let's find out what it was anyways oh wow look at that Georgia Parfait Company Thomasville Georgia too bad about that top I'm still gonna keep it because I don't have one like that dang it man that was very close to being a really really nice complete bottle what a, what a beautiful bottle, too. Georgia Parfait Co. Thomasville, Georgia. That is neat. I spy a beautiful marble. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa. Oh, I was not... I thought it was green Me down too. there. I was not expecting that. That's funny. That's pretty. Pretty clear one. Here. I'll take it. And this little piece of pottery looks pretty, too. Boop. Nice. I thought I was recording, and I wasn't recording. We found these two at the same exact time. Natalie spotted that really nice green one, and then I spotted this one. Wow, those are great. Whoa. This looks awfully marbly right here. I don't see a marble yet, but I see a tile that's pretty. A, a real pretty tile. You got a stopper? Oh, whoa. What the heck kind of stopper is that? That is a wicked cool. I think I see a marble buried over here. Do you? Uh, there. Yep. Sure enough. Nice red and white one. Nice. Cool. I like that. All right. There's got to be some more. 
I've got a hidden marble. He's buried. Oh, that one is so cool. Wow. I love the color of that one. Look at that, babe. It's like a crazy blue with red. Milky blue. Cool. Oh, we got it. We got the marble. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. He's so pretty. Oh yeah. Oh, you need a little chip out of there. Hey. <laughs> this one is like as pretty as that other blue one you found today. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Y'all just take a look at that big boy right there. That's a big gigantic snapping turtle. Oh, he's so cool. He is a beautiful turtle. Natalie has enough room to go around. I'm gonna have to go up the bank here because he's in the shallow spot where I'd have to step. So I don't want to disturb him too much. Whoop. And it'll be cool to see him from this side too. Look at him. Yeah, he's cool. That's a big old turtle. Just getting him some sunshine and warmth. Wow. All right, friend. See you later. Cool. Look at this red, white, and green marble. Just sitting there wide open. That one's so pretty. I love that one. Okay. Add him to the collection. There's got to be some more right here. Oh, Natalie got one. Oh, I got one right there, too. Oh, there's two. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. All right, pick that one up. Well done. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that one. That's beautiful. Oh, there's so many here. Look at And then one more right there. White and green. And then this one right there. That one's real similar to the one you just picked up. Yeah. Gosh, that was four marbles in no time at all. Uh -huh. That was amazing. Natalie found a button. Nice. Another little white button. That's a nice little button. It's cute. This cute. Oh my gosh, another marble. Oh, this one's so good. Look at that. Oh. This place is loaded. It is. This is the marble bar. Marble. Oh, another one. No. Yes. Uh, to come to me. Ooh, that one's cool too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's going to be more. I feel it. Where are they? I wish I would have been rolling right there, y'all. Giant water moccasin was just sitting on that and he started rattling his tail. And then he shot off that way into the deeper water. There's some critters right here. The snapping turtle's still right there. I crawled out of my skin. Wow, yeah, Natalie was getting out of there. <laughs> Dang, that was, a, that was a big snake too. He was, he was large. I got another marble. Oh. Shabam. Ooh, that one's cool. I like that. I am catching up. I'm catching up. This is great. Natalie got a cow tooth. <laughs> yep. Right as I was about to pick up this piece of a Hutchinson bottle. That's part of the top of one. Too bad about that being broken. Neat. Got another marble right there. Nice. That one's pretty cool. All right. We are on a marble roll. Got a little button right there. Nice little button. That's a cool one. Natalie has another marble. Oh, oh no. Thank you. Oh, that one's cool. It's like a smaller one, too. A peewee. A peewee. I think that's what those are called. A peewee? Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah. Shaboom. Nice. That one's kind of neat color. Yeah. Cool. Come on. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's one right there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, God, that one's big. Ooh, that, is, <laughs> that one's the best one of the day. No. Yeah. That one blue one you got is way prettier. This one's just bigger. I vote pretty over big. If that bright red dot is a marble, I have no idea how we missed it. 
It's not a marble. It's a bead. Oh, it's a bead. Cool. That's such a good bead. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. Good job. I thought that was a marble. How did we, how, still, how did we miss that? I don't know. That's crazy. That's so red. That's beautiful. There's a lot of red rocks in here. Beautiful bead. I love that. Another one. That's a big white button. That one's pretty. Yeah. I like that. Any marbles? Any marbles here? It's got to be one high. There's a bumblebee. Look at her. I'm pretty sure one of my favorite parts about being out here is watching this beautiful girl enjoy herself. <laughs> Earlier, she just shouted, I love mud larking. <laughs> and it was very cute. I do. <laughs> and I do too. <laughs> and I'm also going to pick up this bag of chips and put it in my bag. <sighs> I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat this bag of chips. <laughs> Got a cup in there. and ugh, ugh. This, uh, I can't pick it all up. I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to pick some up right now while I'm at it. But Jesus, y'all. Oh, cool. Look, a Gatorade bottle. Uh, yeah. Gotta pick up some while we're at it, you know? Yes. I have got to marble. Ooh, that one's cool. Very clear. Very clear, nice one. Natalie's marble streak has ended. <laughs> and mine continues. <laughs> no. Look at that one, that one's cool too. Great, add him to the collection of marbles that are mixed in with all the trash I've picked up too. Ba ding There's another marble. Clear with green, that's a neat one. I like that one. Oh my gosh, Natalie just double marbled. She got that one and then that little red one there. Yeah. Nice babe. You double marbled. But they don't. Did you just step on a marble? I thought I saw a marble. No, <laughs> there's a red rock. No, oh no, look, that's the bottom to one of the turbo. Turbo? Uh, round bottom know. bottle. <laughs> turbo bottle. There's a turbo. <laughs> it is the bottom of a roundy. Neat. That's what we like to see right there. The top of a ginger beer bottle from the Civil War era. Too bad it's just a fragment. Somehow we stepped over that marble. Nice. Natalie spots a marble. Ooh, pretty one. Blue. I like that one, babe. It's a blue and green day. Blue and green. I think we're about to find a bunch on this gravel bar up here. Probably. That thing is massive. Oh, is that a marble? Aha! It? I got one hiding. Here. Gotta set my bucket down. Oh gosh, now I lost it. Uh, right there. Oh, wow. He's so hidey. Oh, why can't I get him? Uh oh, he's broken. Oh, it's broken. Super Aww, broken. So keep him. Sorry, little marble. We'll keep you anyways. I was climbing over this tree and I noticed a marble. Boop. I think I found a little... Nice little one. That's pretty. Nice. I think I found a little doll dish. Oh, cool. I could be wrong. That's something for a little doll related thing i think natalie's found the top of a hutch that's like three hutch tops today are we on the trail i hope so look at that big old crayfish in there he's big that thing looks like a lobster man <laughs> he's cool too bad that's not embossed that's a nice old bottle Good looking, but nothing on it. A marble. Natalie got one. Ooh, that one's nice. Red and white. Red and white. That's pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty too. Not. Yeah. Here, see what I'm grab them. Oh my gosh, there's so many marbles in there <laughs> in your bucket. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, she took a couple more steps and got another one. That one looks cool. Oh, that one's really cool looking. Ah, it's oh, broken. No. Sad. So I'm sure there's another one right here somewhere. It looks too good. 
There's got to be another one. Where are they? Look how pretty that pottery is. Wow. It's a big chunk. That could be utilized, I think, for something. That's yeah. pretty. We'll hold on to it. Look at the stopper that Natalie just found. Look at the little... I've never seen that on a stopper before. I know. I thought it was broken at first, but it's not. That's it's neat. It's made. I wonder what that went to. Cool one. That bottle. No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that Coca-Cola. Cool. This looks like a pretty old bottle right there. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's an old one right there. Look at that lip. It's an old wine bottle or something. But nice uh, late 1800s bottle. Oh, Natalie got herself an embossed knee high. I'm going to try and grab it. Nice. Columbus, Georgia, of course, as usual. Mm -hmm. But a nice embossed soda bottle from the mid 20s or early 30s. Natalie's just pulling bottles left and right with her to grabbers. <laughs> There's a knee high. Columbus, Georgia also. This is a smaller size than the one she just picked up. Let's double check this Coke here. From Dublin, Georgia. Probably a Pat D. Yep, but just a Pat and D, so that's going to be about 1940s. Cool. Natalie half marble. Oh, yeah. that one's pretty. Let me just grab it with my fingy. Yes, please. That one's really neat. Yeah. It's a unique one. I like that. Natalie got a marble. Another one. Oh. oh. No. Yes. Cool. Oh, I thought it was blue down there, but it's you? clear. That's a cool one. Yeah. Not bad. Look at this marble that Natalie just found. I love the color on that. Look at all those colors. Red, white, blue, and green. There you go. Oh, uh, Add them to the marble bucket. So many marbles. Here we go. A marble coming out of the bank rather than in the creek bed. I haven't found very many like that at all out here. That's cool. All right, here's Natalie's marbles and things. Here's my marbles. And a couple other things too. Some bottles, but not much for bottles, so I'm not even showing them in the wrap up right now. That Georgia Parfait Company was cool, but it was beat up on the top. But the marbles are exciting. Check this out, actually. Oh God, that's a doggy. Look at this one with the UV light. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. So none of the ones I found glow with the UV light, unfortunately. And it's fine, but Natalie got all kinds of cool little stoppers and lids and buttons and beads. Those are broken marbles there. This would have been a cool stopper. Cobalt. I got this little dish and this bead's pretty cool. And some other little things. As far as marbles go, this is my favorite marble that I found. I love that one. What's your favorite, babe? It's this one. That one right there. It's like purple and oh, yes. light blue. Okay, so out of our two favorites, which is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like mine or Natalie's? Thanks y'all for watching today's video. We appreciate it very much. We had a great time out in the creek, walking around, looking for all kinds of cool relics and uh, pieces of history. And uh, we found a ton of marbles. We found like 60 marbles, I think is what we counted, right? Um, <laughs> or something like that. That's a lot, that's crazy. Um, a lot of y'all ask, how are there so many marbles in, in this creek or in some of our creek videos? And a big part of it is because, unfortunately, a lot of these places were used as dumps uh, around the turn of the century, probably all the way into the 40s and 50s, unfortunately, and things like that. Obviously, modern trash ends up there today still, too. Uh, but basically, the marbles got ended up being thrown out with a lot of this trash. And so uh, we find marbles mixed in with the gravel all the time because of that. It's just a... Uh, kind of similar to the bottles and other stuff it just ended up in there but yeah anyways that's kind of an explanation on that thanks for watching again y'all we appreciate it very much we'll see y'all in the next video